East Aurora, New York, is the kind of town you think of when you think of small town America. The village of 6,000 dates back to 1814, to a time when grist mills first took advantage of the currents of Casanova Creek that snakes through the countryside. And in the early 20th century, East Aurora was a destination for Americans caught between progress, social change, and the yearning for simplicity. They were drawn by the personality of Albert Hubbard, a bigger-than-life character who was a champion of the American arts and crafts movement, a movement that railed against the dehumanizing effects of modern industrialization. And they were seduced by the romanticized community that Hubbard created called Roycroft, a campus in East Aurora that was home to hundreds of workers and artisans who hammered copper, tooled leather, and planed wood. Roycroft is not quite a commune. It was something closer to an idealized small town organized around this remarkable complex of, of activities and uh, production facilities that, you know, that we see in Roycroft. In 1900, the New York Times described Roycroft as the most delightful artistic atmosphere in America. And Hubbard, they wrote, is a misunderstood man, and like many others of note, has brought upon himself the title eccentric. It would be easy to just sort of dismiss him as, as, as a sort of eccentric, a uh, rebel that you don't quite take that seriously because, uh, you know, the long hair and the big bow tie and riding his horse around the campus and going off in these speaking tours. But obviously there was, there was a lot more to him than that. And as artisans continue the Roycroft traditions that began a century ago, the name Elbert Hubbard still incites passion. My portrayal of Elbert Hubbard garnered more letters than any other subject. And those letters were divided between those that said I was absolutely true to what he was, I showed him for the charlatan he really was, and letters that said I was absolutely true to who he was and showed him as the saint and the hero that he truly was. So I, I suppose from that perspective, I did a, a good job in portraying him, and that I offended everyone equally. In Hubbard's day, it was the same story. 